for years and years, I've been trying to master the art of taming down any lizard possible. But I've come to the conclusion that I'm trash at it. Boy! So now I'm gonna take you guys with me to see if I could get any better at this skill. And hopefully if you guys are in the same predicament as me and are horrible at taming down lizards, then we could just learn together. So let's get into this video. Nope. Big snakes, you heard. West Side Reptile, you heard. This is, this is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, subscribe to the. <laughs> Start the video. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, we got Angelina on the camera, you know, so don't blame me if the quality of the video is bad. Just know it was her. No? Yes. First and foremost, we need the net. Alright. This is this is rule one. Okay, we're gonna we're I'm gonna tell you the five rules of becoming a lizard tamer. Alright. You could tame any reptile with these rules. Not really, just lizards. But you're gonna need a place for the lizard to explore when it's with you. So this is perfect. My sister used, used to have a guinea pig, but... It died. <laughs> so first up, we're just gonna go in for this guy right here. He looks pretty chill. Look at him. Wow. Wow, you can see that nice long tail. You can see his face. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice patterning on the back. Now let's see what his reaction would be to me holding him. Okay, so what you want to do is you never want to just pick it up like as if you were like picking up something with tongs you just want to scoop him you want to use the scoop method the scoop method is always very very tactical all right so that's your first that's the second lesson always use the scoop method bro like come on you need to use the scoop method but yeah look at him so so far he isn't really he's too scared right now you can see he's moving slowly this is a sign that he's relaxed he's chilled he's just sensing his surroundings if you get a close-up you can see his tongue he keeps on flicking out his tongue, and that's called the Jacobson organ. And he's pretty much doing this just so he could sense, like, what the hell's going on around him. The next step you're going to need to do, or what I like to do, this is very, very important. You need to grab food. These creatures love dopamine. Dance, dance the dead, dead, dead. It's a reward system. So let's say us, whenever we go get water, you know, whenever we drink it, a little chemical is released in our brain called dopamine, and it tells us, yo... That's, that's that good stuff, bro. He, every time he gets a meal, every time he drinks water, every time he reproduces, all that stuff releases dopamine. So if he associates you with a dopamine release, then you're golden, bro. This is the container where I breed my mealworms. It's a little crusty right now. I need to swap out the substrate. But yeah, there's mealworms, as y'all can see. So I'm just going to grab a small one. Like this one right here. It's perfect. My grandma does not like the dogs. Once he sees that mealworm, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, bro. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. So this guy, if I were to rate him on his availability. Availability? Not availability. Damn it. I'm so stupid. What's a good word to use? If I were to rank his handle ability, I would rank this a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. You know, he's still a little scared, but he is a little baby. And what I've noticed, the bigger the alligator lizard, the less scared. Power! Yeah, it's just common sense. Like, if you have a small lizard, everything's trying to eat in the wild. So as they get bigger, they should get more confident. But this guy, he's pretty chill, even for how big he is. He's not the biggest in the tank by far. He's not going to run away. He hasn't pooped on me. None of that. So that's good to know. So let's get on to another one. Okay, so now we got this guy right here. Oh, this guy does not look like he's going to be that cooperative. Now, you never want to chase the lizard, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to be doing that. Boy! Damn, there's a bunch in here. Okay, we're just going to take out this... Oh, what? There's a lizard on here. Okay, we're just going to do this dude then. Boy! We have him on my hand. He is moving much faster. He is much more aware of his surroundings. He's not as slow moving as the other lizard we just held. And he is much more just freaking out. This is not what you want to see, all right? But he isn't biting, he isn't pooping, so we're... This is a pretty good sign. This would be a six, no, not even a six, bro. This would be like a five when it comes to holding. So now we're going to try to calm him down with some food. He's probably not going to eat, though, because most reptiles, pretty much all, will not eat if they're in danger. They think that they're going to get killed. They're, they're not out looking for food. 
they're out looking for a way to get out of the situation that they're in. So stupid. So yeah, what's up? Okay, he is interested in the food, but no. I finished with the other guy, and now we got this dude. This dude looks pretty fat, so yeah. And he looks pretty chill, so he should just take a mealworm right now. So let's see, let's check. You know, you guys already know the tactic on what to do when it comes to trying to get a lizard to eat. So he could sense the smells of the mealworm. You know, like I was saying earlier, every single thing that this lizard comes in contact with, he can smell. He picks up different aromas with that Jacobson organ. <laughs> At least that's how I had it explained to me. I don't know if they actually like get a smell from it. I don't know what they see. They just see something that we cannot see, obviously. Freaking bars, Hemi. What the hell, dude? Yeah, oh, look, you can see that guy just caught a mealworm that was loose in the cage. Yeah, I literally cleaned out this thing. Enough with that. Another thing that you're going to want to do is I like to pet this dude. I like to get him used to the sensation of being pet so that I can hand it to my little siblings or anyone else. If I start to do like reptile shows when stuff starts opening up again or anything like that, I'd want to take some of my alligator lizards to the reptile shows. So I'd want them to be used to being held, being touched, you know, all that human contact. So the more that you could do this with a lizard, the more one-on-one -on -one time that you could spend with the lizard, hopefully the better it should get. Now, since we got one that is really nice, calm, chill, ooh, amazing, let's get one that is the complete opposite. <laughs> Finally! So you can see these little dragons in here, and we're just gonna go for one. This is not gonna end up well. You know what? Let's go into the net of safety. This is the safety net, okay? This one is slowly crawling out. He's probably gonna run. Yeah, okay, so this one is not, whoa. As you can see, he's moving really, really fast and he is not having the time of his life right now. We gotta remember there's one baby one right over there, so we cannot forget about that. Whoa, calm down, dude. Calm down, bro. And you wanna be careful since if you're taming down a lizard that can drop its tail, obviously, look for the signs of like, yo, it's gonna drop its tail. So one thing that it'll do, I'll probably show you because it's probably gonna do it right about now. It's going to start wailing its tail back and forward really fast. And that's pretty much trying to trick the predator into going for the tail and not the lizard so that it could drop its tail, get away with its life, and it just pooped on me. It literally just pooped on me. Wow, that's amazing. He is very, 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 very stressed out. He pooped on me again. Okay, so this is actually poop. This is not even musk. Oh, musk would be more of like a watery substance, but this is... Okay, we're just going to wipe this. Get the hell off me. Where did he go? He almost went in my pant leg. Okay. Hey, calm... Hey. Should I cut it? No. Just... just See, you want to... We want to record all this. We want to record what happens with these crazy, crazy lizards. Okay? And with something like... This guy is a hip hoppity, don't stop it. Okay, you need to stop it, dude. Damn, bro. Okay, as y'all can see, he is not, he's not being cooperative at all. All right, and still, even though he is stressed out, you're just gonna wanna touch him. All lizards, other than monitor lizards, have a way of breathing where they can't run and breathe. So it's either they run or they breathe. So they get tired very easily. Monitor lizards have adapted in a way so that they can actually run and breathe, which is why they can go much farther distances and go much faster. But these guys, they're going to run out of energy real quick. And this, that's what this guy has done real quick. And since he was standing still and all that time he was breathing, he was catching his breath so that he can make another run for it. And once he realizes that he can't run anymore, he should just stop. He'll either play dead. That's one thing that might happen. He'll either just stop what he's doing and just understand like oh there's no escaping the christopher you know this is west side reptiles i better chill he he's he's a real gangster
Okay. Or third thing, he might go in all defense mode, start biting me, start pooping me, flailing, poop around, you know, doing all that stuff. So hopefully he doesn't do that. Now let's see what the baby's doing. You can see those amazing oranges though. That's really nice to see. But this guy, he's actually seeming much, much chiller than the other dude, which is quite amazing to see. Really trying to, oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoa there. You guys probably didn't see how fast that was. Let me slow it down for y'all real quick. Just doing some laundry. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God! Oh! Are you, oh, are you recording? Are you recording, Crickshaw? Yes. Whoa. Oh, well, calm down, bro. Okay. Yeah, he, he had that time to rest, so now he's really energetic again. And we're just going to hold both. Just like that. Okay, this baby has just been chilling on my arm this whole time. This guy pooped again. Look, that's diarrhea. That's diarrhea literally coming out of him as we speak. Aww. Okay, guys. So I always wanted to know what it tastes like. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, he's literally rubbed. Uh, oh, that's a fat one. That is a fat one. That is all. Uh, that is all. Uh, did he really just do that to me? Bro, I was trying to let it fall. Stop. Stop, please. One thing that differs snakes from lizards is lizards have ears. So what that means is me yelling does not help the situation whatsoever. But <laughs> this is poor Chris, guys. We don't have microphones. Okay, guys. So. Look down right here. Um, this video is getting really long and we want to get to every lizard. So I'm going to cut this this part short with this guy. We'll bring out another one that is much more chill. And then we'll do, we'll bring out another one that is not more chill. And then we'll end off the video. So let's get into that. Are you stupid, bro? What the hell is wrong with you? Do you know how much more you have to edit, bro? And you're only halfway done with the video? Jesus Christ. This is the one I have. This one is my man right here. I freaking love this one. Look how big this guy is. Wow. This is the dominant male in the tank. Uh, he's been growing the fastest. He has the strongest food response. And just look at those darks. Super, super clean on his whole back. The whole back side of his body. But as y'all can see, I spent a lot of time with this dude. So he just chose in my hand. He already knows what's coming. He already knows that food's about to be coming right now. So, yeah, he's used to just biting it right off my fingers and just starting to scrunch it down, crunch it down, and eat. This is going to be the final product if you follow all my steps. And if I'm being honest, guys, some lizards are just not tameable. Like, some just can't be tamed. Um, Go Herping has made a few videos on it. Where just some lizards don't have the brain capacity to understand like, yo, this isn't a threat and they're always going to be stuck in their ways. And some people might believe or think of taming lizards in a different aspect. Like no matter how much time you put into a lizard, it can possibly be tamed. It's not but... focused. Oom, mm, this looks good. Arr! Yummy. But some lizards just cannot be tamed, guys. And that's the sad truth. But if you do a lot of work, a lot of hard work and dedication, you know what I'm saying? There's a possibility that it's going to be, it's going to pay off. And usually it does, but just there's always those outliers. And this guy, you know, he's really just relaxed. He's checking out that camera right now. He's seeing that light that's shining right into his eyes, but he doesn't care, you know, because he knows that I'm going to be feeding him back to back to back to back. Here, one more, and then we're putting you back so we could get some psychopaths up in here. Yeah, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Y'all see those teeth? Nope. Jelena, move the phone back like that stuff. Jelena, move the phone back like that stuff. Damn it. I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, wow. And now my dog is barking. <laughs> Just amazing. Just amazing, bro. Y'all seen those teeth? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This dude is a freaking dragon. This dude is a literal dragon. So we're gonna put this dragon back and we're gonna pull out someone 
that is not gangster. This guy's pretty psychotic. You know, I think we're gonna do this guy because the other guy has already dropped his tail. Oh, damn. Here, we'll cut to when I have the lizard in my hand. This made me chill. Hey, chill, bro. We finally got him. He is a wild boy. He literally ran into the water and he cooled himself off because as you guys know, all reptiles are warm-blooded. There's a few that are semi-warm-blooded, like this guy right here, which means they can warm themselves up without external heat. But yeah, even even with them being able to warm themselves up with their own metabolism and using external heat, he still is going to be slowed down when he goes into nice, cool water, which he did for me. Not on purpose, but yeah. Freaking iPad, bro, you're lying. You're freaking lying. You're lying. Let's go, bro. What the hell? the hell you are the definition of a runoff sen 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 sentence so now this guy is a lot cooled down and he was actually way crazier he was flailing that tail around making me want to grab it but yeah as y'all can see he has tired himself out he is gaining his air back and yeah you're probably gonna see him go crazy right about now or hopefully possibly I might have tamed him. Guys, did I do it? Am I the lizard master? No, I'm not. Okay, let's see. So I'm just gonna try giving him a little pet. Oh, you can see he's slowly trying to inch away. He's just checking out his surroundings. He's making me think like, yeah, yeah, this guy's, yeah, I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. But that's not the truth. He's really, really cold. So the more relaxed that you are with the lizard, in return, the more relaxed the lizard's gonna be. That's the last thing that I want you guys to know. Okay, if you're like really loud and crazy with the lizard like I was earlier, the lizard is in contrast gonna be really scared, fearful, um, skittish and all that. But with this guy, I'm more calm, you know, I'm more just sensing the lizard, seeing what he's doing and he's being much more pleasant for me. He still isn't being as pleasant as, you know, the last lizard we've seen, but he's being pretty good. Now, I'm just gonna try, I'm just really trying to get him used to being touched. You know, um, the more that you do this, the more that you get a lizard out and actually in your hands, the more that's gonna be used and comfortable in that situation, because that's just how their brains work. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah. He's he's really he's really good at just faking me out. You know, I think we're making progress, but then I just realized, yo, we're not making progress. And when you're in a situation like that, when the lizard's on the ground and it's looking at your hands, you never want to just grab it. I unless you're catching a wild lizard, because obviously you're not going to be able to catch it any other way. You're just going to want to have it run into your hand, if that makes sense. So what I like to do is look. If this guy's on the ground. I and I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm. I'll trick him with this hand, and then put this hand in front, and then I'll use this hand to cope him into my other hand, like that. This makes it seem that the lizard isn't getting chased. It makes it think that the lizard chose to be on your hand. It wasn't forced. So it's just a little trick that I like to use when trying to get a lizard into my hands that does not like to be into human hands. He's getting, he's getting pretty chill, guys. Look. Look at that. That's progress. I think the more time that you spend with lizards the easier it will be to like, read what their movement's about to be. Like, I could tell that this guy's about to jump. Watch, as soon as I give this guy a little touch, he's going for the, yeah. Okay, and that was a pretty easy prediction. You guys were probably able to tell that he was gonna jump too, but it's all about time, you know? You're not gonna learn a new skill if you just try it for a day, okay? It's gonna take a while. Just like another analogy, when I was trying to skateboard, it took me forever to learn how to ollie. But when, once I finally did it, I still had to practice over and over and over again and fall 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 all that stuff until i was finally able to do it confidently and consistently same with this dude if you're new to taming down lizards don't get one that's gonna get like let's say six feet because you're gonna make mistakes while you're trying to tame down that lizard and if you have a freaking monitor lizard that's gonna get six feet and you know it's your first lizard that you're ever trying to tame down you're gonna make those mistakes and it's never gonna have full trust with you so you always want to do this or practice on small lizards just so you don't have an aggressive six foot lizard that wants to bite your face off, okay? That's it for the video. Um, let's do the outro. Finally! Something
in the bounce girl did you say swag dude stop it get some help all right okay guys so if you made it to the end of the video thank you i know it's 20 minutes long I'm a psychopath. I ain't the same after editing a 20 minute long video. Hmm, on freaking iMovie, bro. You know how laggy it got after 13 minutes? Please just blow my channel up already. The struggle is real. Nah, but for real guys, it's Thursday. Yeah, Christmas Eve. So happy Christmas Eve. You know what I'm saying? Spread that Christmas love and comment down below. Let's get this video popping, bro. Boy. Damn, that was that was that was bars. I right, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, stop rambling on. What did I want to say? Oh, so yeah, guys, it's Christmas tomorrow. Yeah, it's Christmas tomorrow. You know, happy Christmas Eve, all that good stuff. I hope you guys get what you guys wanted for Christmas. But just smash the like button for the one time. Just just give a little just give a little love tap. You know, it's just uh, you know what I'm saying. You just gotta. Ah, the like button. Just late, guys. I right. late. Goodbye. Something about the girl. Did you say?